Welcome to this spoken tutorial on registration of an account for online train booking. My name is Kannan Maudgalya. In this tutorial, we will learn how to register a new account in ircTC.co.in. We will learn about entering user information, activating the account, and changing the password. Some tips on user information. The name should be less than 10 characters long. It can have letters, numbers, and underscore. The security question is useful if you forget the password. The account activation information is sent to email and mobile. We will see how to do this in the browser. I have already opened this website, ircTC.co.in. Let me make the font bigger. The first thing that we have to do before buying any ticket is to sign up. Let me press this sign up and we get to this page it wants username. Let me make this font slightly bigger. Kannan.mou. It doesn't accept beyond 10 characters. It also says that maximum 10 characters. Let me check the availability. It says that login name field accepts letters, numbers and underscores but we have put a full stop. So what I will do is I'll come here and put an underscore MOU and then I will check whether this name is available. I get the message that the username is available please go ahead with the registration process. I will now make the font even bigger so that it is little easier to see. Let us now enter other information. Let us enter the security question. This is useful to retrieve the password in case you forget it. Let us choose what is your pet's name. Let me enter Snowy. My first name is Kannan. My last name is Odgalya. Leave gender as male. Marital status married. Let me choose the date of birth as 20th December 1960. Occupation government. Email ID, I will choose as joker at iitb.ac.in. It says that the password will, will be sent to this email ID. Let me enter the mobile number. 8 7654321 says that mobile verification code will be sent to this mobile number, nationality let me choose as India, residential address, let me write 1, main road, city, I'll choose as Agra, state, I'll choose as Uttar Pradesh, pin, zip, let me write it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Country, I will choose India. You have to enter this properly. You may use this address to receive I tickets. Let me write the phone number as 011. I have written it as 1234-5678. If I want to give separate office address, I can do so by pressing no. In this case, I will have to fill the details. I don't want to enter these details. I will press yes and close office address. Let us go down. It wants to know whether I want to receive more emails. Let me make this slightly smaller. So I will say 
no i don't want to receive any emails i have to enter the verification code now t37861 w let me submit let me take the magnifying glass and bring it here it says that email id joker and mobile number the one that i gave earlier will be validated press okay to continue or cancel to update let me say okay then it says please indicate your acceptance of the terms and conditions button at the bottom of the page so let me scroll down let me just make this smaller so you will see what it looks like okay if you want you can actually see by clicking each of these but let's accept this let me accept it okay i have resumed recording actually i paused it because sometimes irctc is slow it took some time then i get the message thank you you have been successfully registered let me make this bigger it says that your user id password and activation link have been sent to your registered email id and mobile verification code has been sent to registered mobile number please use the activation link and mobile verification code to activate your account i have just returned to the slide let us learn about activating the account and email will be received from irctc click the link given in the email or copy paste the link in the browser this will open a web page enter the code sent to the mobile this activates the account let us do this on the web browser all right let me do as it says first i will go to my email address i get the following mail my user id is given here kannan_mou the password is given here and then it says i have to click here to activate the account let me click here it takes me back to the website okay i get this uh, message so let me enter the code that i received on my mobile number six character string let me submit this it says that for security reasons i should change the password after login now i'm ready to book my ticket the first thing that i will do is to sign out i was a little slow in typing that it says that the session has expired this uh, message keeps coming when you use irctc especially if you are slow in uh, filling the information doesn't matter you just have to log in again and try so let me log into my account again let us now learn how to change the password let's go to irctc.co.in log into the activated account for this use the password sent through email go to user profile and change the password link enter the old password type the new password twice let us do this in the web browser now and username i will type underscore mou password the password that was sent to my email address i am doing this first time kgn838 we log in here i will have to change the password recall the password sent through email has to be changed the way i will do that is go to 
user profile, change the password, old password, Okay, I submit it. I now get the message that the password has been changed. So that's fine. I have now returned to the slide. The tips in using your account are do not share your password with others. When you buy a ticket, your email will receive the details. Do not share the password of your email account also with others. Change your passwords frequently. In the next tutorial, we will discuss how to buy a ticket. We now have some information on the Spoken Tutorial project. Watch the video available at spoken-tutorial.org slash what is a Spoken Tutorial. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, contact sptutemail at gmail.com. The Spoken Tutorial project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash enemy ICT dash intro. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. This is Kandan Madhgalya signing off. Thanks for joining. Goodbye.